be here today, and we're super, super excited to have Chef Alan Long here today helping us, helping us cook. We're going to be working on some uh, holiday special, uh, the apple uh, butter mochi, which we're super excited about, and some healthy alternatives to uh, to maybe cooking around the holidays and you know staying healthier. Yeah, so uh, super excited to have you. Great to see you, David. We'll see you again. Right. You know, we're taking uh, a lot of killer recipe uh, for the butter mochi and uh, adding some other ingredients like the apples, the cinnamon, you know, the, the ginger to give it that, that sort of fall thanksgiving kind of like feel, taste, and smell. And so when you talk about uh, the elder day, when you talk about quality of life and independence, you know, sometimes when you take a look at something like sugar, and you substitute with like honey or like today monk fruit sweetener, you know, it's just a, you know, one degree better for you and helps you with the independence and the quality of life. One of the silver linings for me during this pandemic time was uh, being at home cooking more. And I've been getting very comfortable with the uh, plant-based food, vegetarian, vegan foods, uh, really, really comfortable. And uh, something that inspired me was actually cooking a meal for uh, Dan Buchan. He's the founder of the Blue Zone got five zones all across the world and these are cultures that live the longest and he's found something in common with all five cultures their way of life and their diet and so in these cultures they live long they eat healthier and that's the reason why and so that's why this has become a passion of mine to share as I learn we're, we look forward to having you here today and learning more about that. Thank you for inspiring us today. So, awesome to have you. One more pineapple road there, man. 2011. The, fir <laughs> the first two books I read on my flight, well, not on my flight, but on my way here to interview was uh, The Way It Blew Out and The Blue Tomato. And learned a ton from this guy. So, awesome. it's great to have you here. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Chef, uh, you talk a lot about slot in and slot out. Um, there's definitely things that we can do in, in society with just uh, sugar, but in the case of salt, is there something that we can just kind of substitute for salt instead of just constantly uh, you know, eating so much sodium? Mm, okay, if you start adding the salt less, and you know you add like a squeeze of a half lemon juice, a dash of Tabasco or chili pepper water, there are some fresh herbs in there. These are distractions to make you not miss the salt. And then finally, when you taste it, then you add the salt, instead of the salt first and everything else. You know? And with enough distractions, you may add less sodium in the end. Yeah, trick in the brain. So another substitute that everybody's always looking for is, is, is sugar. There's stevia, there's all these other um, uh, substitutes that we're using now. And in, in this case, today, we're gonna be using uh, monk fruit. The, the first substitute, obviously, would be something like honey. You know, raw honey or agave or stevia. And in this case, we use the monk fruit sweetener, it's plant based. So it's a good substitute. You probably can go one to one or sometimes a little less uh, monk fruit. The recipe calls for one tablespoon, use a little bit less. Come on, they call you scoops here, huh? Yeah. How come they call you scoops? Tell everybody why they call you scoops. Okay, I scoops every single day. I scoop the rice. You do, and you do it better than anyone I've ever seen in my entire life. So show everyone your forearms. Look at these guys right there. There, there you go. Yeah. Um, but this is Kamai. Kamai is here. Um, we just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about um, your experience here at Bonakiva. Um, and so when did you start, first of all? Let's start with that. I was the food service worker. Mm -hmm. So you started about four years ago, and you were a participant here at Bonakiva, right? Yes. Uh, and then you got hired on, right? Yes. Okay. So you've been working for about three years, yeah? Four years. Four years. It's very meaningful work, the stuff that you do here. And, uh, we all appreciate you here, so, so thank you. Thanks for being here today. Uh, have you baked before? I have baked the scones. Baked scones. Where do you bake scones? And the scones. Okay, all right, well, we're not doing scones today, but we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna be doing apple butter mochi. So we're here with Wilma at Lanakila Kitchen. Um, super happy to have you here. Wilma is our baker. She does a ton here for us. 
um, mostly scones, but there's a lots of other things. Um, today we're here to discuss uh, apple butter mochi that we're, we have, uh, um, we're going to be preparing with Alan Wong here today, Chef Alan. Um, and so just, just tell everyone what you do here at Lana Kiva. I do all baking and um, preparing the scones and baking in the morning. And early in the morning, in the morning. right? And what is your favorite thing about working here at Lanakiva? My favorite thing is the um, baking and it's because I love cooking. So I always looking forward to come to work every day yeah. just to do my part over here. And I'm so happy because I work with, interact with our co-workers, very nice and helping each other yeah. and it's really good. Well, we're happy to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for, sh for showing us this. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about what we're what we're doing today? today I know I, I got um, to work with you a little bit on it. But... Today we're gonna make an apple butter mochi and prepare it with the uh, because of the holiday. So we have all this stuff to do today. So it looks like we have all the accoutrements here for our uh, apple mochi or uh, apple apple butter mochi. Mm -hmm. Uh, Wilma, you want to tell us a little bit about what we're going to be doing here and what we're working with? We're going to make um, a butter, apple butter mochi and we need the mochi rice and a baking powder, sugar, the monk sugar, and the five eggs and the milk and also a butter. Cool. So you said the mochi flour, right? Yes. We're making the apple filling, so we have the apple sauce and the sugar, ginger, and um, flour, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and a lemon. And that all kind of goes into your mixture here. Mm. Step two of this process. I've been mm. told not to call it accoutrements. We're calling the ingredients, how about that? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to boil this one, the apple sauce first, and then put the ingredients together until it's thickening and then put it on the side until you're ready to mix for the other ones. Just put the uh, mochi flour and the uh, apple sauce and then mix together and it come up like this. And it's ready to go. We're gonna add on this roso after. We're doing this roso topping for the butter, apple butter mochi. We have a flour over here, a sugar, um, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and a butter. So just mix all together with the butter with your hand and and come out okay. So it was great, uh, you know, having you here, uh, working on our apple butter mochi, uh, which we are going to have available at Times, Don Quixote, and Maracay. So only through the holiday season, but um, we're super excited to have this in the market. You know how to make it yourself too. Um, you know, you got the holidays coming up, obviously. So if, if everybody's baking nowadays because of COVID. So it makes sense if, if if anybody wants to try, uh, you know. Trying out our apple butter mochi, but I just want to tell you happy holidays and eat well. Great to see you. Good to see you. Awesome.